So let's talk about recovery. Um, today at one day post op, my pain has gone down from a nine and a half to about a six or a seven. For pain, they give you oxycodone and a muscle relaxer to try to help those muscles not squeeze and be so tight and compressed in that implant. Because if y'all remember, I told you that the implant is actually inside of my muscle. It's not on top. It's not at the bottom. He cut a slit open in my muscle and put it inside. So the only thing that's hurting is my actual like butt cheeks. My, my incision does not hurt. My legs don't hurt. My back is okay. It's really just my cheeks. And it's not a sharp pain. It's more of a throbbing, like, sore it's very sore it's very achy yeah it feel like an ache there's these weird moments where um it feels like a bubble is popping but that's my muscle like like jumping at me or whatever so i don't know that's kind of that's kind of cool that's kind of weird um ice packs are your best friend ice packs okay you know what let me go get the ice pack so y'all can see because i need to put it on too i got these Cold large compresses from Walmart. Um, with the ice packs, you're supposed to leave it on for 30 minutes and rest for 20 minutes. And I like these because they don't feel as heavy as the ice cubes. Like, I have ice cubes here also. Like, that's another option. Shit. Yeah, one of the options, if you don't want to come out of pocket for one of these cold slash hot compresses, you can really just use a kitchen Ziploc bag and fill it up with ice. But I didn't really like that method because the ice was, it weighed more. It felt really heavy and it was really hard and just, it was just too hard for the sensitivity of my butt. So I like these because it's a gel. It's moldable gel, so it's not so hard, you know. Um, What else? Now, as far as using the bathroom, I definitely can use the bathroom by myself. Um, I don't need help out of bed today at all. I could just get up and go to the bathroom. But you have to pee standing up i mean maybe you don't have to pee standing up because you know everybody body is different but me your girl is not sitting down your girl is not sitting down i'm not sitting down i'm not sitting down so yeah you rock a fella over here but um you definitely want to stay up on your laxatives because you're supposed to poop once a day and these pain meds will block that so let me go ahead and tell you early. In terms of eating and drinking, my body seems to really like fruit and water right now. I tried to eat some pasta, but it was too greasy. Like my, my mouth and my body was like, no, give me something alive, please. But um, if you can't handle fruit and you're starving, another good option are crackers. Like, I've been eating these little cookies in between pills because a lot of the pills that they give you require for you to eat food with it. But the pain pills also make you nauseous. So you kind of want to find a good balance between how much food you're snacking on and what you're snacking on because you're already nauseous and you don't want to make it worse with oily, greasy food. Honestly, I can say the hardest part about day one post-op right now is bending over and grabbing things off of the actual floor. Like, if you drop something on the floor, just leave that shit there. Just leave it there. So, like, any bending, 
yeah, you just want to stay away from that. So I've been picking up things with my toes or asking my aunt or my friend to pick up items for me. Also, a big tip, I got about six bottles of pills over here. While you are aware and not too groggy and, and not too much pain, you want to hurry up and go to your alarms on your phone and preset alarms for your pills because they give you so many pills and all of them have a different time on when you can take them some of them is take every five to six hours another one is take every 12 hours another one you're supposed to take in the morning and at night and then another one you're supposed to take three times a day like they all got different rules so you want to be careful not to take too many drugs too soon I don't want y'all to get hurt. So don't try to be Wonder Woman and remember off the dome. Just go ahead ahead of time, set your alarm, and I promise you, you will be so happy you did. Um, another tip I can say is pre-stage your area. So over here at my nightstand, over here on my nightstand, I have everything I need drinks snacks charger laptop everything that i need is right there you don't want to keep getting in and out of bed i mean you can it ain't hard to get in and out of bed but you just you know for a speedy recovery you don't really want to this is really not as bad as i thought it was like though day one was on some bullshit but i mean the day of surgery was some bullshit like it was kind of pretty painful but it ain't not that bad. And I think it's because I got my pain under control from the pills. Um, What else can I say to y'all? I don't regret it. I'm so happy I did it. I'm so happy I did it. Like, I don't regret it at all. I've always wanted a shape. I didn't get... I didn't get my butt done so much for projection as I did for the shape. I have um, natural hip dips, and there's nothing wrong with hip dips. Hip dips are beautiful. But I really wanted that rounded shape, so I'm so happy with it. I can't wait to drop. Oh, and sleep, man. You have to sleep on your stomach, or surprisingly enough, you can sleep on your back. But don't sleep on your side because it's too much pressure on the incision. So I've been sleeping on my um on my stomach like this. And what I do to kind of help me feel better is I put like one arm under the pillow and I kind of push it up to my neck and put this other arm right here. <sighs> Another tip, your lower back might hurt from that deep arch. So put in a thin pillow. Let's see this putting a thin pillow right underneath your, your stomach or like above your pelvis is extremely helpful for this intense pain right there. Yep. So shit, that's day one. Oh my God. <laughs> that's day one post-op. Um, if I missed anything, oh, would y'all believe I got my period right like after surgery yesterday i was so mad so if you end up getting on your menstrual cycle while you're going through this traumatic trauma of a surgery please invest in the diva cup because you as y'all ladies know with tampons you have to switch out your tampons more frequently than you would have with the diva cup the diva cup is a silicone menstrual cycle collector it's silicone just like how my implants are so it's very soft it's very like you know foldable and you just you know insert it and you can keep it inserted for up to 12 hours and i like that because with tampons you have to switch out a lot sooner and who wants to be walking back and forth dealing with a tampon when your booty cheeks hurt so 100 percent Get a deep cup. And they have female urinals that you can use to help you, like, shoot your pee in there instead of just pre-shooting like me. 
but I'm familiar, so I'm a free shooter. All right, see y'all in the next video, which will be tomorrow of what day three is looking like and feeling like. Hey. All right, bye, y'all. I look from behind. It looks really good. See, it's super high right now. Butt implants are just like breast implants in the sense of they start off really, really high. And as they heal, the implants will start to drop into their position and fluff out. So this is just day one after my surgery. So I have a lot of swelling and it's just really perky. But if I stand up straight, this is what we got. Beautiful. I love it. I love it, look at that. So day one post-op, I still can't really bend my legs. Bending is a no-no, but I can walk like a penguin. And right now the pain is at a Six. Maybe six. And it's super hard to touch. It's super hard. It's super firm. And the bandages are still on there. This is where he made the incision through the crack. And then he just slip the implants in and close it up. But I do love it. Hey. Ain't that fool in this car. <laughs>